In the previous video, we showed you how to make a simple game named Save Me From The Bat. Now, in this video, we will show you how to make a slightly difficult game which is named the Ping Pong Game. So, let's start. So before explaining the codes used in the game, I will just show you guys the game to give a brief idea about it. This is a ping pong game where there is a ball which moves to random positions and bounces when it touches the edge and there is a paddle which we can move with the help of a mouse pointer. So this game will start when this green flag above is clicked. The objective of this game is to always keep the ball touching the paddle and prevent it from touching the red line which has been drawn right over here. So this game has a score which will increase if the ball keeps on touching the paddle and it will decrease if the ball touches the red line. I have also added a background music. As you could hear when the game was playing. Now, as I have opened the Scratch 3 offline editor, the default white background with the default cat sprite appears. We don't need the cat, so now I will delete it. Now, we need a suitable background for our game. So, I will just go to the choose a backdrop option which you can see here. Then, I will go to the backdrop library by clicking on the search option. There are various backdrops available here. So I will simply scroll down through the options. Now there is a backdrop called stars over here. I am gonna take this backdrop. You can select the backdrop of your choice. Then I will click on the backdrop. So now since we have our backdrop, we don't need the white default white backdrop. So we will delete it. We require the ball and the paddle. I will click on the choose a sprite option and then go to sprites library by clicking on the search option. The ball sprite is available here so I will click on it. Then to get the paddle I will go to the search panel and type paddle. So on typing paddle we get that sprite. Now we have to drag the code for these sprites. I will go to the codes option for the ball. Let's first give codes for the ball. So I will go to the events area and take the when green flag clicked block. Then I will go to the motion section and drag the move 10 steps block. And then I will go to the control section and drag the forever loop and put the move 10 steps block in the loop and join it with the when green flag click block. So let us try it out. You notice that the ball moved 10 steps in one go and reached the edge. But it should bounce back. So I will again go to the motion section, drag the if on edge bounce block and put this block as well in the forever loop. So basically the program will initiate two processes forever when the green flag is clicked. Let us try this now. Good, it is working. But still the ball should sort of move in a random position. So in the motion section there is this block called go to random position. Then we will drag this block and put it between the forever loop and the when green flag click block. Let us try it out now. Good, it is working. We can again use the when green flag click block over here. Now the ball has to understand what to do if it touches the paddle. For that we go to the sensing section and take this touching mouse pointer block and make it touching paddle. Then we go drag the if block from the control section and also the forever block. So we will put the touching paddle and block is in this space if block. 
Then from the motion section we will type touching 15 degrees and make it touching 180 degrees. And then from the control section wait 1 seconds block will be taken. Now we have to put the touching 180 degrees block and the wait 1 seconds block in the if block. Now the system should command the ball sprite to turn or bounce back 180 degrees on touching the ball. We have used wait 1 second because the ball executes this code very fast. So using this block it will be able to execute the code properly. And then this if block will be put in the forever block and then this entire code is put under this when green flag flip block. But to try this out, the paddle is not moving. We are now gonna write the codes for moving the paddle. As I told you earlier, the paddle moves with the help of the mouse pointer in the game. So we will take this when green flag click block and then in the motion section, we will drag this go to random position block and make this go to mouse, points, mouse pointer. Then we will put this block here under the when green flag click block and try it out. It worked out but only once. But we need that function to be executed forever when the green flag is clicked. So we will take the forever block and put this code here. Now we will try this out. Okay, so as you can see, the paddle is moving with the mouse pointer. Now we will check whether the ball bounces 180 degrees on touching the paddle. Yeah, it is working. So for this game, as I told you, there will be scores. I will be uh, I will go ahead and uh, in this data section, I will make a variable called score. Then I will show it in the background. So the score has to increase when the ball touches the paddle. I will go to the script of the ball and then to the data section. There this block called change my variable one by one is present. My variable is the default variable. So I will change the block to change score by one and then I will put the block here in the if block. So let us see what happens okay so the score increased by one whenever the ball touched the paddle and now a noise is made when the ball touches the paddle called pop in the sound section of the ball you can see there are already two sounds pop and boing boing will be the sound played when the ball touches the red line which we will draw later so now in the scripts we will go to the sound section and then drag the code called play sound to pop until done and put it here in this if loop. So now the ball will play the pop sound when it touches the paddle. Now we need to tell the ball what to do when it touches the red line. So we will draw the red line for the backdrop. So the codes for the condition when the ball touches the red line are similar in structure to the condition where the ball touches the paddle. Just the difference is that the score will decrease and the sound boing will be played. Uh, and the ball does not have to turn 180 degrees. So I will just duplicate this entire code. And add and remove a few blocks. So first of all we do not need this cutting paddle block so we will just remove it then we will go to the sensing section and take this cutting color block and we'll change the color so to change the color we need three parameters the color the saturation and the brightness level so the color and saturation and brightness level of this uh, red line is 100 so we'll change it accordingly yeah now we'll put it over here we also don't need these two blocks, so we'll delete them. So as mentioned, when the ball will touch this red line, the score will decrease by 1. So we'll change this value from 1 to minus 1. Okay. And the boing sound will be played, so we'll change this to boing. Now let's try the code out.
Good, it is working. Now our game is almost ready. Uh, we just have to add the background music now. We'll go to the backdrop section and we'll go to the sound library for the backdrop. Um, this sound pop is present over here, so we don't need it. We'll delete it. We'll go uh, to the sound option. We'll go to the sound library. Now there's a certain sound called video game which I'm going to in include in my um uh, code. So I'll type the name. So as I'm so as I was typing uh, video game, two option two sounds appeared over here. This is video game one and this is video game two. Um, I'll just show you video game one. So this is the sound you're going to add in the game. You can add any sound. Now we'll go to our code and we'll go to the event section and uh, take this when green flag click block and um, we will go to the sound section and take this play sound video game until done block and we'll put it over here. These are the codes for the backdrop so that it will play the background music when the game is going on. So we'll try the code out. <laughs> Okay, so as you could see, the sound video game one kept on playing until it got over, but still the game was going on. So you can keep it this way as well, but if you want the sound to play continuously, you can just use the forever block and uh, put it over here. Okay, so now our game is ready, but there is one more thing. When the when the game restarts, the score should go back to 100. Right. So we'll go to the codes for the ball and we'll go to the data section or variable section and we'll uh, take this block called change my variable to 0 and uh, make it change score to 0. Reset score to 0 and put it over here. Now we'll try it out. Okay, so as you could see the score uh, went back to zero. So guys, this is what our game is. I hope you liked our game and please do try it out. We hope you liked our video. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. Meet you in the next video.